Hello, this is Pastor Biller, and thanks for linking in to the children's message for today, October 4th, 2020. And boys and girls, today we're talking a lot about fruit. You see on the cover of the, the order of service, there's this beautiful picture of a grapevine. Oh, and you see those beautiful green leaves and those luscious purple grapes. That grapevine has produced fruit that's good to eat. And we could also have a picture of an apple tree with some beautiful apples and an orange tree with some oranges and cherry tree with cherries and so forth. But when Jesus is teaching us about fruit, he's not really teaching us about how to grow good things to eat. He's talking about people. He doesn't mean that we should have, have grapes coming out of our nose or apples coming out of our ears or anything like that. But he's talking about how on the, the faith that's with us on the inside should come out with things that we do and say on the outside. And to give us an example of that, I've got a Bible story picture. This is the Good Samaritan. And Jesus tells this story, and it's in Luke chapter 10. He said, a man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. And there were robbers waiting for him, bad guys, and they they attacked him, they beat him up, they took his stuff, they even took his clothing, and they left him there on the side of the road half dead. And there he is. And if nobody had come to help him, he surely would have died. But some people did come. First, there was a priest. He worked at the temple in Jerusalem. But he didn't stop and help. He just rode off. See him going away? And then there was a Levite. The Levites also helped in the temple. He should have known better, but he didn't help either. He just walked around and left the man there to die. Well, thankfully, there came a man who was willing to show the fruits of his faith. He was a Samaritan. That means he was a foreigner. The Jews didn't like the Samaritans. They thought they were bad people. But this Samaritan did good things because he had faith in Jesus in his heart. And he came riding along on his donkey and he saw the man in trouble and immediately he had compassion on him. That means he felt sorry for him and, and he felt bad and he wanted to help. So he got off of his donkey and he got down and he began to, to take some, of, some strips of cloth and bandage up his, his wounds. And Jesus said he took some oil and water and poured it on the man's wounds. The oil would kill the germs and the oil would be sort of like Vaseline or like some medicine to help it stop hurting and help it to begin to heal. And that wasn't all. When he had the man bandaged up, he put him on his donkey and took him to an inn. Now they didn't have hospitals in those days. So that was the best there was available. And he took him there and he told the innkeeper, here's some money. Give this man a place to stay and take care of him. And I'll come back for him. And if there's more expense, if there's more cost, I'll pay that too. So the man paid his bill to help him get better. No wonder we call him the Good Samaritan. And to this day, there are hospitals named Good Samaritan Hospital, like the one in Mount Vernon has that name, remembering this act of kindness and how this man showed the fruits of faith. It reminds us of what Jesus has done for us. He saw us in heaven, from heaven, and saw how, how bad a shape people were in because of our sins and death and sickness and sorrow and trouble and pain. And he didn't just look, he came and helped. God's son became a man. A genuine human being was a little baby in a manger in Bethlehem, and he grew up to suffer and die on the cross for the sins of the whole world. He rose again from the dead. So he showed us what it is to take what's in your heart and, and show it on the outside. And that's what he's calling us to do now, too. We have faith in our hearts. We know Jesus is our Savior. We know God's love. And God is calling us to do love for other people, people who have need. Well, they might not be half dead on the side of the road, but there's, there are people in our lives 
who have needs. And God wants us to, to look for them, to feel for them, to help them, to speak to them, and uh, to so, show the good fruits of the faith, to put on the outside what's already on the inside of us. So let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks that you came from heaven to rescue us, that you did not leave us lost and dead in our sins, but you came for us, became one of us, kept all of God's commandments for us, paid for our sins by your death on the cross, have given us eternal life. Now help us, O Lord, help us to bear in our lives the fruits of faith, to show on the outside the love that we know on the inside. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening.